You have a ton of sourdough starter on hand, you've already baked some fresh, delicious sourdough bread for the day, and now you're stuck with the question, what else could I make? How can I use up this starter? Here's your solution. A sourdough Dutch baby, aka German pancake. Here's how. Heat up a 14 inch cast iron skillet in a 425 degree oven. You're gonna take two full cups of sourdough starter. This sourdough starter was fed this morning. It's already gone through its full rise and fall. So it is on its way to be fed, which we will feed it later on in this video. You're gonna put those two cups right in a mixing bowl. You can also mix this in a blender or a magic bullet if you have a large enough one that can hold the entire contents of this recipe because there's only five ingredients. So the two cups of sourdough starter go in here. This is a great use up of sourdough starter because most recipes only call for a little bit of starter, like a fourth cup, maybe a third cup. This is two full cups, super great. Then we're gonna add in some whole milk. I have a whole raw milk here that we get from our local dairy farmer. This is a third cup. Now you can use a dairy substitute if you prefer. I prefer to use whole milk because I like the fat content that it adds to our recipe. Now you're gonna just whisk that together and get it nice and smooth. And then we're gonna add in a little bit of a sweetener. I'm gonna use maple syrup here. This is about two tablespoons of maple syrup. You can also use honey. Did I mention this is a recipe from Lisa on Farmhouse on Boone? I'll link that down below. We're gonna use six eggs. These are farm fresh eggs right from our chickens. Peep the fairy egg over there. Look at how cute that is. We're gonna grab these six eggs and we're gonna put them into our recipe. If you can get room temperature eggs, that would be best. But if you have something straight from the fridge, no big deal, it'll work just as great. Now this egg that I'm about to show you, this is a double yolker. And I knew that because you can tell by the size, sometimes it has a different shape. Uh, but this one had a little bit of a, not soft shell, but a delicate shell. And so it was kind of hard to crack here one-handed, but I got it and there's your double yolk. I'm still gonna put all six eggs in here. We're just gonna have an extra yolk. I am not worried about a little extra protein and fat. I am actually all about that. So once we get all six of these eggs in here, we are going to add in just a few more ingredients. Can you believe we're almost done adding ingredients to this super easy recipe? Seriously, you need to make this right now. It is so easy and will fill your entire family. Break all those yolks up, give it a nice whisk, and whisk it till it's really nice and creamy. This is super important to get a great texture that's really custardy and really delicious. Now we're gonna add in a little bit of vanilla. We're just gonna add in a teaspoon of vanilla. Then you're gonna add in one half teaspoon of salt. This is really important for your recipe because it really will heighten the flavors of everything and make it really full bodied. Give that a nice whisk and now is a really important part and I forgot to tell you before. You need six tablespoons of butter melted in that hot skillet. I did leave this in a little extra long, but it's no big deal, it's now browned butter. But you wanna pour this on top of the hot butter. That is key to this delicious sourdough Dutch baby recipe. Now we're gonna put this right into that hot 425 degree oven. Careful, pan's hot. Remember to put your hot pad on your hand. Now this pan is so incredibly heavy, be careful. I've done this one-handed many times, but it's a little sketch. You a little scared there? Don't worry, we got it, no big deal. Now while that's baking and getting nice and golden brown, we're gonna feed that starter that I depleted. I am a free feeder with my sourdough starter, so I do not measure. So it's up to you, take my advice or not, but this is what I do. I literally just double the amount of liquid by adding water. And then I just feed it until I get a consistency of about a pancake batter. This is bread flour that I'm adding in here, and I sometimes will use all-purpose flour, sometimes I'll throw in a little einkorn, just kind of depends on what's on hand. Sometimes I've even used whole wheat, whatever. This is just bread flour, super simple. I just mix it up, literally pancake batter, get most of the lumps out, and that's that. And then I actually, because I'll be gone for the next couple days for work, I actually just put this right into my refrigerator. I don't let it rise at all because Friday, I'm gonna make my sourdough pizza. I almost forgot, you have to check on the Dutch baby. This is about halfway through bake time here. This is about eight minutes in, and this is about 16 minutes in. It's nice and golden brown. It has some puffiness to it. It is sizzling like crazy, and it is fully cooked. This is absolutely delicious. Now you are not gonna get the really puffy sides that a traditional Dutch baby will give you, but it is still going to have a really great custardy texture. I like to top mine with some powdered sugar sprinkled on top. 
and then it is ready to serve. You can serve it right out of the cast iron skillet. I like to cut it in triangles and serve it with a little bit of maple syrup. And seriously, I'm so excited. This is so good. I make it all the time. It's seriously such a great use up of all that extra starter. So then it doesn't go to waste or just sit in your fridge and gather hooch. You can actually put it to good use and feed your family without a ton of work. Enjoy this recipe and have a wonderful blessed day.